Hello everyone, my name is Isaiah Rivera and I'm a professional dunker. Here's a little bit of what I can do. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I did to get my vertical from around 24, 25 inches and touching the rim to about 36 inches and being able to windmill pretty easily. I first started lifting when I was 15 years old and it was actually for basketball. I was trying to make my school team and I knew that I needed to get stronger in order to be able to compete with everybody. I was always one of the smaller people on, on my basketball team. so. I needed that extra advantage over everybody. Now, obviously I was pretty weak when I first started training and in order to get stronger, I started researching more and I found this book called Starting Strength by Mark Ripito. And this helped me build a really good foundation for weight training. Now, in addition to this training, I was also practicing basketball every single day for at least like two or three hours. And after all my games, pickup games, individual sessions, practices, I would always be trying to touch the rim. And then at home, I would lower my hoop and I would pretend I was Shaq, Michael Jordan, all these NBA players that I admired. And I would try to copy their dunks, do different tricks and that sort of thing. Around this time, I also found Steven Selly and Nico Christie on YouTube. And I saw that they had tracked their progress from when they were young and not being able to dunk to now being able to throw down dunks like one-handers, two-handers, and windmills. Seeing their progress kind of inspired me to start researching how to jump higher even more. And a combination of this weightlifting that I was doing in addition to all the jumping I was doing, I started to see really good results and it got to the point where I was almost throwing down my first dunk. I was actually stuck at this level for a few months and I get a lot of questions today about people that are almost about to hit their first dunk and literally what I did, I just kept trying. There wasn't any secret formula. I didn't change anything. I, I just kept trying and trying and trying and trying and eventually I got it. Now, before I move on, I want to make a really important point. The two most important things that I did at this time was just weightlifting, getting stronger and the jumping consistently. Um, a lot of people overcomplicate the weightlifting, especially at the beginning. Starting strength is super simple. It's basically just three sets of five of bench press, deadlift and squat. And that's all I did. And every workout, I would just try to do a little bit more weight and that got me stronger and that's all I needed. And most likely that's all any you guys need, especially in the beginning. Shortly after I hit my first dunk, I was on the internet researching how to jump higher. And I was on this um, forum called a darky and someone had made a post on this guy whose name was Jordan Kilgannon and he had just hit the crown dunk and they were talking about how crazy his progress was. So I went on his YouTube channel and I went to his oldest videos and it was him uh, at around 16 years old, barely being able to dunk. Um, and it was mind blowing to me how he made this progress. And he was actually jumping around the same height I was at the same age. So this was one of the most inspiring and groundbreaking moments for me because it made me realize how much was actually possible. I then found an article by Joel Smith where he interviewed Jordan on what he did to jump higher. And Jordan said that he literally just jumped every single day for hours. After reading that article, an obsession was sparked inside of me. And I started dunking on 10 feet and low rims for hours every single day. And around this time, I also found YouTube channels like Team Flight Brothers and Dunkademics. And hours of my free time was spent watching videos of these freakish dunkers doing stuff that I wanted to do. When I wasn't dunking or watching YouTube videos of dunks, I was researching how to jump higher. And I started buying these jump programs just to see what they're about and to see if I could pull anything from them. And specifically, I bought Jump Manual and Vertical Jump Bible. 
Around this time, I also learned the importance of jump technique. And I actually bought a program called Vert Freak Technique by Adam Lincolnager and Coach Rocky. And that kind of built a foundation on the proper approach technique for two foot jumps. And after that, that kind of opened my mind to studying other dunkers that jumped the same way I did. So I started obsessively studying my jumps, other jumpers that were also left, right like me. And I would spend hours comparing it and seeing what I could improve. And I started noticing when I would improve a certain aspect of my jump, for example, lengthening my penultimate stride, I would instantly jump like one or two inches higher. And I started figuring new things out every like two or three weeks and the progress just kept going up and it started becoming ridiculous. One day I posted one of my attempts on hitting a windmill on 9.6 and Jordan Kilgannon responded to me with some advice on it and I then went on to hit the windmill and he started helping me more and more and he opened my eyes on the world of dunk technique and how to train a little bit more properly. This period of time where I got really obsessed with dunking happened the summer before my senior year. And that's the summer I made the most gains just from dunking every single day and training. And when school started, conditioning for basketball started and practices started. And it got to the point where I was going to basketball practices for two, to th two or three hours and then coming back home and then dunking for another two or three hours. All this intense training is obviously very hard on the body and I was doing stuff every single day. So I would do it for about a week and then I would rest a couple days and I would come back jumping higher. And I just repeated that process and eventually I was able to hit my first windmill on 10 feet and built up to around a 36, 37 inch vertical. Thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave any comments if you have any questions or if you just want to leave a regular comment. Um, smash that like button, subscribe. I appreciate all the support you guys give me. Um, I'm going to be making more videos like this. So the next one will probably be how I got from a 36 to around a 45 inch vertical. And yeah, this was fun to make. So if you guys like it, I'll, I'll keep them coming.